In this tutorial, let's see how to pass a journal entry, which is in Accounts section. So I'm clicking Accounts. So you would notice that Accounts will be pressed in. So I go to Accounts and see Record Journal Entry. So I would do Journal Entry here. Okay. As soon as I press it, these are the options I'll get. So Journal Entry, it is uh, by default, it will give you an automated number. Now date, date of the journal entry. So I would just make it as uh, some 30th of Ninth, or I'll just say uh, 31st of August. Okay. Right. And uh, the reason why you would pass journal entries is when you're doing, for example, accruals, prepayments, or provisions. So in this tutorial, I'm passing a provision. So I'm passing provision for annual leave and sick leave. Usually, this is done by your financial accountant in your, in your company. So, uh, this is a general provision you would pass every month. So, what I would do is you would have a, an option to select the account number here, which is a GL number. Now, what I'm doing is I'm uh, selecting annual leave expense. Okay, and that's a debit, so something like $1,000. And then the job code, which we will discuss in detail. Uh, just to give you a quick understanding, job is nothing but a division. If you have three or four divisions, you want to have um, Division Toowoomba, Division Queensland, Division Brisbane, Division Sydney, Division Melbourne, then you would put the job. It's just the department, you know, the division or job site. Now, because we don't have anything in this tutorial, I'm leaving it blank. Memo is uh, a small description. So it's annual leave provision for the month of August 2014. Okay, so I'll copy this. I'll tell you why I'm copying this. So copy and then I'll say tab and leave it as NT. This is no GST um, involved in it. And then now I'm crediting the provision, which is um, two, four, four, two, one, four. Uh, there is annual leave provision here. Yep, annual leave provision. I'll credit $1,000 and I will come here and pay. Okay, so I have description on both uh, debits and credits, okay? So if you understand, this is the debit side of it, that's the credit side of it, that both are NT and total debits and total credits equal and the out of balance is zero, okay? And record, this is how you would record a journal entry in Australian dollar. In my next tutorial, I'll show you how to do a journal entry in foreign currency.